we're here in Cuba, New Mexico. Laid out some, we're gonna lay out a pond and uh, gonna be building some gully plugs in a sediment basin. There was one pond we had in question due to the differing types of soils in this area. If you look at that pond, there's a pond already exists right there. The producer built it, but it doesn't hold water. And it's actually on a gravelly, I believe it's called a gravelly loam. And so that's why it doesn't hold any water. So then we wanted to put one right where there's a differentiation between two soil types, the gravelly loam. And then uh, I forget the soil type on this one, it was like a clay. But we wanted to see if indeed it was clay. So because we're so close to the other uh, soil profile, I bored a hole 12 feet deep. There's the, there's the auger. It took me about 30, 45 minutes so by myself, so it took a while. For those of bored holes, you know how hard it is to bore through clay if you hit it. So based off what I found, looks like I got about two feet, the first two feet were was clay. And then after that I hit six feet of some white sandy soil. Sandy, mainly sand. Right here. They had dug a hole over there and you can actually see that sand over there. It's the same kind of sand over here, so they probably went about six feet. So then after about six feet, I got about eight feet. of clay from there on after. Basically it starts from about that oh, that auger hole all the way clay clay clay. I was, thought I was home free at about 12 feet. This is the 12 feet mark. I hit uh, a different type of soil. feet was like a number in my head of 24. So I went to 13 and a half feet and I got to a soil that had like a clay, kind of clay loam soil. So I went from clay to clay loam and uh, just to pacify myself I put some water on uh, some of the this last stuff I found. And it rolls out pretty good, so it still has pretty good clay in it to be able to retain moisture, retain water. This is going to be a, a pond for livestock. And then I did the same thing for this clay, pure clay stuff. So. Now I can rest assured they can dig a pond here 12 feet deep and it'll be able to hold water instead of be a sieve like that pond up there. So it's always a good thing to do a bore a hole in general if you have if you're gonna be digging a pond in a questionable area. Or it's good to just do it in general. Um, if you have Frank Casals told me this, if you have a an arroyo nearby where you're proposing your your pond go look at that arroyo and you'll be able to see the profile of the soil and if it's 12 feet deep then you won't have to bore a hole 12 feet deep so it's a very good pointer Frank told me and uh, save you a lot of trouble if you don't have to bore 12, 12 feet because it takes quite a while but definitely worth it in this case since it was very questionable as to the suitability of this of the soils for this pond anyways if you got a question let me know and then this auger is uh most of you guys have one but uh, I graded mine every foot and it's 13 and a half feet all the way to the top so it comes in four foot sections uh, actually uh, a little bit bigger than four foot sections if you have any questions let me know